Hi, this is Brian Two. It's uh, 12.46 in the afternoon, Friday, the 1st of September, 2023. I want to show people an example of counterintelligence. Counterintelligence, what is it? Counterintelligence is simply, look at the etymology of the word itself. It explains what it is. To counter the intelligence of, to counter the intelligent. Counterintelligence literally means to dumb down to dumb down victims of their technology, to dumb down the sheepish masses. How? By flooding the internet. Flooding the internet in order to drown out the truth. What happens in a flood? In a flood, people drown. In a flood, animals drown. Remember Noah's flood? Everybody drowned. That's what they're doing. They're flooding the internet to drown out the truth. How? By misdirection, by, well, by a lot of different ways. Disinformation, which is lies. Misinformation, which is half-truths. Misdirection, which is cyber theater. Misattribution, indirection, etc., etc. It goes on and on, okay? They have different ways of doing it. But it's, called, it's all called counterintelligence, okay? When they get on these conference calls and they, and they inject into these support groups, even real space groups, okay? That's counterintelligence. They're there to sow dissension and to disseminate false information. I'm going to say that again. They are creating, they are infiltrating, or they are creating targeted individual support groups to sow dissension, division, and to disseminate false information to drown out the truth. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. I'm doing a search for, for gang stalking. I just want to show people. Shadow Rich Gang just took your soul and you're never getting it back. So if we can get more people away. This website hates me. It hates me. Why is this ad the video? This is supposed to be an ad. And when it ends, my video plays. But when this ad ends. If you're not already familiar with gang stalking or targeted individual community, same thing. It's a global phenomenon. Thousands and thousands of people all reporting the same thing being stalked and tracked by something, having chips implants put in them, uh, hearing voices, being mind controlled, dodging radioactive frequencies. And I was watching the Vice documentaries and Brian, seriously. Seriously, don't do that. Like, honestly, don't do... Stop. Brian. I'm being gang-stalked by the CIA, but they put a chip in my brain. I'm being gang-stalked by the CIA, but they put a chip in my brain. I'm being gang-stalked... The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically, opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence. Uh, I personally investigated the Oklahoma City bombing case Huge cover-up. Jack Kennedy's assassination, huge cover-up. Bobby Kennedy's assassination, huge cover-up. World Trade Center, huge cover-up. Okay. Terrorism. They're using it as an excuse to take away our constitutional rights and our civil liberties. The Bilderbergs. The Illuminati, Bilderberg, New World Order, globalists are the element behind us. It dovetails into the satanic movement, and this movement has infiltrated into our intelligence community, the once great FBI and the CIA.
so, I mean, it's frightening what the power that's been given to psychiatrists. This issue of psychic driving, you know, and uh, driving people mad and that, that TIs are reporting it. You mentioned that TIs are reporting it. But, you know, part of the larger question here is that there are many forms of mind control that are actually being leveled at everybody, not just oh, TIs. Right? Yeah, yeah. Now, you know, and it's, it's weird. Ever since 9-11, our senators have passed because they're really controlled by the Pentagon and, the, you know, paid for by all the okay. uh, contracting companies, yeah. you know, bribed, and et cetera. Um, they, uh, they pass laws that it's finally legal to use propaganda, although it's always been done, on the U.S. citizens. Uh, and they're using counterintelligence. They're going into, uh, you know, Facebook, our support groups, everything like you know yes and they're actually paid government agents to disrupt the conversation oh yeah and, i think know, we have i'm like familiar our, with that. our tax dollars are are paying these idiots to harm the truth from coming out to save us it's a it's really brilliantly evil this is brilliantly evil so i you know I've always liked the bad, the villains and bad guys often in the James Bond movies for their brilliance. <laughs> well, they're well, in a my movie, own government right? is brilliantly evil. You know, I got to admire them for that. Uh, well, re real life <laughs> evil is a little bit different than fiction yeah, evil, I as you it. know, <laughs> as you know, Robert. And, you know, and it this is, is horrifying. This has gone on for so long and unnoticed, you know. And it that's really, part of the reason why this hasn't come out. Although yeah. I think the main reason it hasn't come out is because media has got the hold on that. You know, it's mm -hmm. got the lid on that. I would like to think that we are busting through that lid and, you know, making our voices heard and our presence I think, felt. I think every bit counts. I, you know, I never thought I would see a solution in my lifetime. But now, you know, if I live another 10 years, I think we might see something real eventually happen, you know, where uh, the, the Pentagon said you can uh, do awful things to about three to 6% of any population falsely in prison, et cetera, in any country. But if the knowledge of that gets over 6%, then a successful revolution can occur. Uh, and so I think we're penetrating that 6% of people know about this level and that it may be a runaway process that everyone will eventually know and justice can be served. So, so this, yeah, it gets very deep. So this suggests that these particular programs, these mind control programs, these neurotech targeting programs, neuro disruption programs, they are sort of creme de la they're the ultimate secret that the DOD CIA wants to keep forever secret. And they really think they can get away with it. I mean, how have they gotten away with it so far, up till now? Uh, using uh, many uh, techniques by counterintelligence, we spent a lot of money on counterintelligence. And what does that mean? Literally dumbing down the population. So we create cover stories like alien abductions or... Okay, um, that's sort of disinfo mind control, right? Through television yeah. programming and stories in the community, etc., about aliens, UFOs, flying saucers, abductions, military, which are actually military abductions from what many <laughs> people report, <laughs> etc., things like that. But are they also using technology to dumb people down? They're doing both. So a very effective place to put the magnet is actually on the back of your neck. So you can wrap it in a scarf, and, you know, have a big scarf so that you're wrapping it like, you know, it doesn't matter how many uh, uh, levels of thickness of material you have. If it's a strong magnet, it's not going to matter. But the, the force of the magnet will come right through that fabric. So, you know, you get a nice mm -hmm. comfortable scarf and you wrap it up with the magnet in the middle and then tie it on to your neck so that the magnet is right at the back of your neck. Now, what this So you see, what's happening is called counterintelligence. And, and counterintelligence is not just uh, social media. 
It's also on these support groups, conference calls, any form of, of media, any format. These these, talk, these TI support groups where these these government informant provocateurs and perpetrators come on these calls and they just create chaos and they inject into the community with you know all this fanciful and fantastic information. It's done not just to discredit. It's done not just to provoke victims into emotional responses which can be remotely measured by the supercomputer and integrated back into RNM data. But it's also done to to dumb down people, to increase the confusion rate of victims, so that to dumb down the sheepish masses, to dumb down the population. What the government is doing is it's flooding the internet to drown out the truth. What happens in a flood? In a flood, people drown. In a flood, animals drown. Remember Noah's flood? Everybody drowned. That's what the government is doing. They're flooding, they're flooding the internet. Keyword is flooding, flooding the internet to drown out the truth with all this lies and half-truths and disinformation, misdirection, misinformation, uh, indirection, and so forth. It just goes on and on. They're, they're trying to drown out the truth. And not just, you know, on social media. They're coming onto the TI conference calls. And they're, they're just, they just sit on those calls and they never shut up. They're constantly injecting into the, into the narrative, into the conversation, attempting to capture the attention of everybody in, that's on the phone. Well, that's, there's science behind that, but I don't have time to explain it. There's a lot of neuroscience and psychology behind counterintelligence. But its primary purpose is to counter the intelligent, to, to dumb down victims, to dumb down the population. Okay, to increase the confusion rate. They're flooding the internet to drown out the truth. I get online, I go on YouTube, for example, I do a search for targeted individuals on YouTube, and I get all these tarot card videos, people with tarot cards, or some other nonsense. That's counterintelligence. You see a lot of these crazy, uh, fanciful and fantastic trivial, paltry, fanciful, and fantastic videos from people. You very rarely see a real victim, a real TI. You know, that's counterintelligence. That's, that's, that's flooding the, the, flooding the internet, flooding social media to drown out the truth. It's called counterintelligence. Okay? On these TI support groups, like if you, if you go to PAX International, uh, and you listen to, you know, they're, they're on every Saturday and Monday, and Basically, every every TI support group is either infiltrated or created by perks for that purpose. To for for the purpose of dumbing down victims, dumbing down the American populace, the sheepish masses. They're flooding social media. They're flooding the internet. They're flooding every format. To drown out the truth. They control the media. So they flood the media. With counterintelligence. 